नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द न्यूज कैफे ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन नोएडा इंटरनेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम डॉक्टर ममता सिंह एंड टुडे इन आर प्रोग्राम ऑफ यूथ एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव डॉक्टर विक्रम सिंह ऑनरेबल वाइस चांसलर नोएडा इंटरनेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी विद एस टू डिस्कस ऑन जुवेनाइल डेलीक्वेंसी सर वी आर प्रिविलेज टू हैव यू विद एस इट इज सेड दैट criminals are not trained in the society but they are born i mean they are by birth criminals thank you so much dr singh you have put a very pertinent question firstly i would say that it is not very fair to say that criminals are born but all of us are not brought up in the same environment environment is conducive to personality building and unfortunately our environment is not the same wherever the child is nurtured and brought up depending upon the environment the family background the type of mentoring that the child gets that would be responsible for his upbringing as his mental makeup and his approach to delinquency and crime i'm very much agree with you sir and i always feel that whatever we are today does have definitely the impact of the kind of parenting we have received so uh, do you think that a kind of parenting or guardianship is very very important for the social development of a child's life so very right almost all the religions are unanimous in their claim that the first school that the child goes to is at the feet of the mother okay then the father and then the home environment if the home environment is positive conducive to his mental and spiritual development his personality development rest assured the child will grow up into an asset of the nation okay. but if that not be the case the child emerges from a broken family from delinquent parents from broken homes from alcoholic atmosphere you can well realize what kind of a disastrous childhood upbringing and hence the end product is likely to be okay so uh, sir coming to the topic which is juvenile delinquency today i would like to ask you that do you agree that rape in any context should be considered as a juvenile crime a crime is a crime it cannot be classified into juvenile crime or adult crime a crime is a crime how it is addressed what are the legal implications would depend upon the age of the perpetrator and the accused if the child below 18 is accused of rape then it is a juvenile offense if an adult is accused of the same crime then it is a routine crime covered by the indian penal code mm -hmm. okay so another question i have for you and that is a uh, quite interesting like i also feel that this must have a impact uh, the kind of gangs you know the criminal gangs which are portrayed on the reality tv and the cinema today does have some impact on the children who are watching that dr singh not some impact a major impact. today in the absence of role models clowns braggarts buffoons and actors seem to have taken over the role of role models and if anybody repeat anybody has an impact on their mental makeup it is film stars films and the gangs okay sir do you feel that a kind of social training or educational training is required to eradicate or to reduce juvenile crime in india absolutely in today's times disturbed times trouble times this is the thing education practice so that it becomes perfect over a period of time there is so much of vitiated atmosphere as they say jab gaon ke kuye mein hi afim ghuli hui hai what does a person do to set and give a right direction to the youth of this country to the people who are on the impressionable age our own young men and women who need guidance and constant mentoring and monitoring to tell them what is wrong what is right and what is wrong the ethical and the ethics and the values of life have to be tutored and inbuilt in their personality okay so what kind of training i mean uh, should there be a particular uh, syllabus for this kind of subject what what you will suggest to the academicians today who can uh, contribute in such a way to get you know this problem sorted out first behavior dr singh It begins at home. Our parents, our elders, and our peers have to be the role models of values and ethics, of propriety, dignified, and honourable behaviour. 
then we come to the school and the colleges our teachers and principals have to be role models and epitomes of virtue okay yes. having said that sir uh, i would like to know suppose there is a person who is 40 years of old and he does mind wash a kid who is below 18 and that kid gets involved in some kind of crime with that man so who will become the criminal or who will be charged uh, with the criminal charges both of them the man who is not a juvenile as you very rightly mentioned dr singh mm -hmm. A man above forty, he will be charged under one hundred and twenty B of the Indian Penal Code. That is criminal conspiracy. Okay. The larger conspiracy, the juvenile under the Juvenile Act, both are liable in any case. Okay, sir, so this is an issue which is uh, continuously raised by the media in India after particularly the Delhi gang rape case, that the age of committing any crime should be decreased. So, what is your point of view on this? Should it be decreased or increased? and if it should be decreased then why not the age of marriage voting driving and finally the consumption of alcohol should also be decreased you posed a very pertinent question but at the same time i would like to react that this age whether it's the age of consent or adulthood varies from country to country in some countries it is 16 years mm -hmm. in some it is 18 years in some it is 17 years but in our case the age of 18 has stood the test of time okay and since it has stood the test of time i see no reason why it should be brought down or it should be increased certainly not there is no way that it should be decreased to 16 there is no logic there is no reason why it should be brought down to 16 okay uh, suppose there is a person who is uh, say there are two persons and uh, they are all uh, i mean 24 years of age but they are mentally retarded and there is another person who is not mentally retarded but he is say 17 years of age and they commit any crime so who will be considered as a juvenile juvenile act says it is the age and age alone that determines whether the person can be charged or whether he can take or be liable under the juvenile act or will be treated as an adult the only other alibi that can befall a person it is not his mental state it is insanity and alcoholism only these two okay. sir if there is a boy who is 17 years of age and he is uh, caught by the policeman and uh, he was doing a rash driving and uh, the policeman misbehaved with that that boy he say for example he just pushed that boy and in response the boy slapped the policeman and abused him so according to you should it be considered as a juvenile crime it is a juvenile crime as the law states he will be charged under section 332 of the ipc read with seventh criminal law amendment act okay. but at the same time he will be tried by the juvenile court and addressed as per the juvenile act of india okay sir i will take this opportunity to uh, get some messages from you for the youth of india on this juvenile delinquency issue what is your message to the youth of india today Dr Singh by message to the youth of India is that you are the children of eternity your message and your role model are Ram Krishna Paramhans Swami Vivekanand Mata Anandmay Uttrist Jagrit Prapte Varani Bodhat of the Kathop Nishad should be your lifeline and should be your motto please do not be swayed by momentary gratification that the clowns braggarts and the fashion rap has to offer the seductive world of crime hedonism and violence ends in disaster the wages of sin is death please take the upright path the moral path and do not fail india and do not fail your parents god bless all of you thank you very much thank you very much sir for giving your precious time to us and enlightening us on such a you know uh, important issue uh, sir has opened our eye and said many things and cleared my vision about juvenile crime in india which is happening right now and many of the young kids are getting uh, trouble due to committing small small things which can be you know uh, come under some kind of charges some kind of you know legal charges so take care the young kids and definitely what sir has suggested that we should have a kind of syllabus in our teaching methodology to reduce and eradicate juvenile crime in india we should definitely incorporate that